Troy's video. I'm gonna start it for him. Obviously, he's got his headband on, which means something is about to go down. Although you got the head the headband on, so that means some real shit's about to happen. Leg press, line hamstring, leg extension, single leg standing hamstring. Well, obviously we ain't got one, so we'll do it on the leg extension. All right. Reverse, reverse high calf, yeah. lower back. Show me that one again. That oh. big, that big T-shirt making you look big, you know. Adductor, abductor, you reckon half people? ab. Both comment below. Yeah. I reckon, is, I reckon. is he big or is the T-shirt just big? Yeah. You do look big though. Knee wrap. Going up in the world, I see. It's alright, mate. I don't need any. You know what you thought? We need to go, uh, we need to like go easy because my triceps hurting today. Cameo. British champ. First paycheck goes on the rolly. Obviously. Woo! Out, little daytime run around. Oh, yeah. Week, little no, weekday run around, you know. Um, Obviously, Saturday, pull out the. The next two. The skin two. Same as the, the Monday's upper body session. Obviously, now it's lower. One exercise. For God's sake, Malcolm. <laughs> one exercise will be two sets of 15 each exercise for leg day. Word on road is the uh, headband gives you, is, makes you extra anabolic. Uh, yeah, only um, after 12 o'clock midday. Oh, okay, okay. So when the protein synthesis gets lowered, yes. it means the catabolic rate rises, sun sets, and shit goes down. That sounded quite good for Troy, that did. That was pretty decent. Scott told me a few days I need to be more funny, so I've been practicing my jokes. No, no, not funny. You just need to talk more. Yeah, just talk more. That don't mean like you be You don't need to try him before you. I know, yeah. Don't try. Who tries? Okay. Like, really? Are you serious then? Like, really? Who tries? You don't have to. God, I'm laughing then, but now we're done. Not interested, man. Is that pre-workout you had? That's very good. Do you not find that uh, I don't take pre-workout on leg day what? for that reason? I haven't for ages, but I was that tired earlier. I had to have a pre-workout because we went to Colesville and Scott fell asleep in the car. I was left on the journey on my own. The ten-minute journey. <laughs> Um, wait there, we need the slow mo play on and go. You've got to do it in slow mo. <laughs> <laughs> the way we're doing it is one ship. Well, one ship? What do we do? One rep shy of failure. Okay. So we've gone quite heavy before, but I think 15 reps on eight plates. To be fair, we've loaded that up. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Yeah. Trying to get, still keep good range of movement, range of motion as well. Yeah. This pre workout's fucking me up. Oh, that I can see. Is that yeah. one we had the other day? The uh, one from the shop? Yeah. Oh, the one that you had the right? Po the Polish? Nah, nah, nah. The little one? The little oh, yeah, Polish yeah, yeah. one? Nah, the little ones are good to be fair. I'll tie that Polish Mafia guy. Decent. Line hamstring curl, same again, two sets, 15 reps. Slow oh, so every, everything's two sets, 15 reps? Yeah, like, every yeah. exercise we're doing, two sets, 15 reps. But the main thing is with these exercises, finding that weight, uh, not too easy. You've got to be about one, two reps shy of failure. So it's still some good weight we're moving. It's not just a relaxed week where we're not training harder, we're not lifting good weight. Still want to get some good weight moving. Or it just gives a little bit of the central nervous system a bit of a rest off all them different heavy sets all the time. But we're still moving some weight. My hamstrings have been my biggest weak point since starting with JP. So if you notice, most of the leg days, most of the plans are quite hamstring based. So next year, I'm coming with some super hamstring gain. What's that?
doing the same as what I do with my with the normal sessions. So obviously, I'm not trying to go crazy heavy, but I know within myself, I'm not going to lie to myself in terms of the weight I'm lifting. I know I can do more and get a good 15 set up a little bit heavier. So I'm just, this is where you have to come and get a good understanding with yourself and, and be honest with yourself when you're training. If you want to grow, obviously you've got to progress with the weight. So obviously the weight I put on and selected is the first exercise to get the blood flow to the, from my hamstrings to my quads now. So I'm done about eight reps. There's two working sets of 15. So I'm going to go up again. If it feels too light, too comfortable, I'll put it down and go again until I find that perfect weight. Then the Jordan sponsorship. So if anyone has any contacts with Jordan, um, I think I deserve a sponsorship now. I've uh, ripped your brand for a while. Um, I believe I'd be a good ambassador for the sport. I, bring a, I believe I bring good team and leadership to the game. And I'm a shit basketballer. I was going to say, you look like a basketballer. <laughs> yeah. You look like half a basketballer. <laughs> <laughs> so in, in essence, he wants to be like mine. <laughs> It is the headband makes him smarter. Giving him powers. Makes him stronger uh, and smarter. Giving him powers. Uh, uh, uh. So, well tell him what's going on here. So we've got a standing leg, standing hamstring curl. Um, so what we're doing is making the most of what we've got. Alternatively. <laughs> <laughs> using the leg curl, leg extension as a standing hamstring. As you can see, the gentleman is contracting the hamstring while balancing his upper body on the top of the machine while keeping good balance, insertion of the hamstring and relaxation of the calf. You just about one key element whilst maintaining my, my thigh on the bench. That's what it's called. That's what I was going to say. and I'm going to talk about protein for uh, BBC3. Uh, yeah, I feel like protein's always been a part of my diet. Me and Holbs have um, always worked on things together. She's a big help to me. So um, if you want to see what's in my diet, come, I'll show you. <laughs> that is good. Oh, I'm, I'm lean. Can I get involved? I'm lean. Come on, we'll do some full dance. <laughs> Yeah, this exercise, I think personally, is a sick exercise, but it's hard to proper yeah. master. So a lot of people don't do it for that reason. What do you reckon? You've got to get the positioning right. You've got to get the exercise down to a T and engage your hamstrings and your glutes. Otherwise, your lower back takes over, your form's out the window, and you're just fucking dorsal raising more than anything. So it's important to set the machine up, depending on your height. I tend to put it above my waistline. So all I'm doing is bending over from my hips and coming up, not where I'm hyperextending, but where I'm just coming to a point where I can contract my glutes and engage my hamstrings, simple as that. The JP extenders on it for these. Yeah. Really off season, give it by January we should be we should have an extender and be stacking these. We can stack this already. Oh yeah. So we need an extender by Monday. <laughs> I've got short legs, so I don't really go. Take a, a big deep breath in, and then as you blow your air out, relax. No, so no, hold, let the weight, relax the weight, relax, let it stretch you out. Now take a big deep breath, and as you exhale, relax even more, and it should open up. I see it pull a little bit more. Don't pull it too hard, just so there's tension on. And then same again, big deep breath, and then relax. Eventually, over time, they'll get looser. Yeah. Got to work on flexibility. One thing we don't do. Don't we? Trust. I think general flexibility and just general warm up and warm down. Yeah. Even like rehab and uh, recovery and stretching, every, everything other than the actual lifting, we don't do enough of. Literally. 
massages have been the, the biggest thing for us. And we started using that a lot more. But yeah, there's still loads more in it. Yeah, definitely. Deadlifting. Next session. Fucking eight plates. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what happened. I know. Carl and your brother, you know what? Scott, play after deadlifts and compounds on on, uh, on your prep. Okay, yeah. Heavy bench, heavy deadlifts. Next session. But the thing is, you gotta listen to your body. <laughs> if your body wants deadlifts, fucking deadlifts. After you train out, I don't think I've seen you do abs in one video. Uh, I do them. You know, I've been neglecting them a bit in the workouts because the workouts have been so long. But I have been doing them. I do feel a difference, I'm not yeah. gonna lie. Like I said before, it's one of the, the biggest things we neglect abs because we think how you get shredded, everyone's got abs. But you're showing in most of our shows, I think you agree all of our physiques, they're quite thin and our abs don't really stand out. Obviously, they're there when you're shredded, but in terms of thickness, we need to be doing abs more basically. It's different stuff, I think we need to, we need to, the whole of last season we completely changed up our training and it worked, everyone's growing differently. But I think we just keep this, take it to the next level, try out new things till we get the ultimate physique. <coughs>